So just to show you, I mean obviously it's not a great deal, but we're taking the first one, all we've done is just disconnect, oh, I went round and untightened all of the uh, tops, right? And there's a fan under there actually, I didn't realise it was actually under there. Uh -huh. There we go, something there as well. So, anyway, and so that's the old battery, right, still in, <coughs> and you can see the levels. And these things have got... Um, I guess those are specific gravities or something like or maybe it's just detecting yeah because it's a filler thing isn't it so it's got like a little float chamber in there to just stop it from filling if it's full right and you can see that one obviously is full and uh, what I did is I just took that one off as well because the wires are quite stiff obviously because they're high current and uh, so I can remove that and what I'll do is before I take that out I'll put the caps on from the other ones just while I remove it so it doesn't spill everywhere because this is acid remember it's a mild acid relatively but so if you get it on your hand you're not going to get scarred but if you do get it on your hand I'd advise you just go and wash them straight away as soon as you can you know you know, do whatever you need to do and then go and straight away wash them yeah so first battery's coming out actually I might have picked the wrong one I might have just undo that one and then take these two out because um, We've got a chassis and stuff in the way there of lifting. So if I lift this one clear first, so I might undo that one. But there you can see it's disconnected. And there was no sparks or anything like that. You just remove the connections and be done. It may never work again, but that's the start. <laughs>